Hi everyone, Pastor Mick here with Milford First United Methodist Church. Boy, is it cold out this week, but you know what? It is warm and inviting here in the church. So I hope you will come and join us this weekend as we delve into the book of Jonah. I know many of you are familiar with the story of Jonah inside the belly of the big giant fish or the whale, and we're going to be picking up after that this week. It's going to be a little different than maybe what you've seen. We're going to be talking about Jonah and what he actually answers God and, and obeys God and goes to the big city of Nineveh and actually to, pro, to proclaim what God tells him, which is that they are going to be destroyed because of their wickedness. Now, if you imagine being Jonah, that is not an enviable position to be in. He's heading to a city, the capital city of his enemy nation, uh, to proclaim their destruction. So he's terrified at this. But much to his disp- uh, surprise, when he proclaims that message, the whole city, including the king, repents. They repent, they fast, they put on sackcloth and ashes. And the king, even himself, who's not an Israelite, who's not Jewish, who is not of their faith at all, says, hey, if we repent, who knows, maybe God might change his mind and not have us perish. And that is exactly what happens, reminding us of the true character of God. It is always God's desire that we not perish, but we live. Jesus says he came that he might save the world, not condemn the world. It's always God's desire to draw us closer to him, not for him to punish us and and put us aside. And so I'm sure that uh, Jonah was pretty shocked by that. But it reminds us that when God speaks to us sometimes, I'm sure we've all had that feeling where, hey, I need to call my friend or I need to go over and see somebody. And, And the Holy Spirit's nudging us, but we're not sure what to say or how to say it. And we're afraid we might get rebuked or rejected. Trust God in that. If God is calling you to do that, God will already be working on the hearts of those that God is calling you to, that your message would be more receptive. Imagine if we would all follow those nudges and reach out and share the word that God has given us with those to whom God has told us to give it, how the world just might change. I'm reminded of a quote from a a famous youth pastor named Ron Luce, who said, if we reach the ones we're called to reach, we'll reach them all. You know, you're not called to reach everybody, but I'm sure God's calling you to someone. And so if you'll just have faith and trust in God and go share whatever that word is that God has given you, even if you mess it up, God will open their ears and their heart to receive the message God wants them to receive. And we're going to dig a lot more into that this weekend, so so it won't be quite as scary for you. So come and check us out. Nine o'clock, we have contemporary worship in our gymnasium. 1030 is traditional in our sanctuary. And of course, we're online with both as well. So... Feel free to brave the cold, come in here where it's warm and inviting, and we'll see you this Sunday. God bless.